Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I'm going to show you how to do a very simple, inexpensive way to frame a small diamond painting. This is a diamond painting that I had received from New Frog. Let me put this up a little bit and you can see it better. When you see them at a distance, you can see them better. Well, you can tell what they are more. <laughs> this has waterfalls and the birds flying. Um, it's dark all the way around. Uh, I don't know if these are trees in the background with a waterfall. And then we have the butterfly here. I thought it came out very, very pretty. It is very shiny, even though I did put a coating on this. Because if I bring it up to you real close, you can see they are round. And I'm not going to put this under glass. That's the reason I did that. The main reason was... Um, to keep dirt from getting in between the holes in there. And this is what I used. This is Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, Aqua Glue. And I first saw this used on Lorma's channel. She has a diamond painting channel. And that's where I had first seen it being used. And as you can see, it's very, very shiny. Now, I'm going to show you um, these were the all the drills I had left over from this kit from New Frog I had a lot of them left over every all of these bags have quite a few in them from the painting this was the little legend there were 19 colors this was the little picture to show you what it was supposed to look like and I think it looks just like it as you can see. I think it came out very pretty. I'm just going to do a very simple inexpensive way to frame this. Now I want to show you something I found at Walmart. This is a package of five glitter frame boards and there are all these different colors and this is what they look like. They have glitter all the way around, and you can put your picture in the center. I've done one similar to this before, but this one I'm going to do a little bit different. Now, I found a really neat poster board at the Dollar General. This one actually has little rhinestones around the edges, and when I find the right painting, I will use that. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that they are 11 by 14 inches. So if you wanted to mount your picture on this poster board and then put it into an 11 by 14 inch frame, it's ready to go. These are also 11 by 14 inches. Yep. And 11 by 14 inch frames are very easy to find. This is the one I have chosen to do, use today. Focus, focus. Okay, now I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. If you'll notice, this does not fit on here just right. And I could leave those white edges, but I don't like the way that that looks. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to cut this poster board in half. I've not tried this before. And I'm going to move it down so that the glitter, I can push it together for the glitter to come together. I'll, ex I'll show you more what I'm talking about when I get to that. Um, as you notice, I went ahead and cut the edges off. All I did was use some very sharp scissors and to cut the edges off of it. So, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to go ahead and put some double stick tape on the back because all of you know how to use double stick tape and sometimes it can take a little while to get it done and you don't want to sit there and watch me do that. So I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm back and as you can see I have put some double stick tape across, all the way across. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to cut this poster board in half so I can show you what I'm talking about because 
what I'm saying probably didn't make a lot of sense. And I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we're going to find out. Okay, now that it's in half, I can move these pieces and make my poster board any size that I want. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lay this on top of it like this. And you know, where I have it right there, I think that's just about where I want to put it. That looks pretty even around the edges. I can pull this out a little more and have a little more sticking out. But I think that's that's pretty good like that. So I'm just going to, well, it might help if I turn it the right way, huh? Okay, it still looks pretty good. That's almost a square. So I'm just going to stick this little baby down to this. Okay, that, that's not bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and mash it on down. And we have a framed painting that only took, it took less than five minutes to do this. But it is pretty. I'm just going to go and put some tape on the back. I'll do that. All of you know how to put tape on the back of something. <laughs> you don't need to see me do that. It isn't going to go anywhere the way it is now, but I'll go ahead and do that. And if I wanted, I could find some type of frame, and I could um, even put this on top of another one of these. And just, you could do all sorts of things that you want to do with it. But I like it just like this. This was a very inexpensive diamond painting. Uh, New Frog has very inexpensive diamond paintings. You might want to check them out. This was probably less than $5. I don't remember for that. And this poster board, I got this whole package probably for about $3 for $5, so $0.60. Cents. You can have a gift and everything done under $8. And, I mean, way under 10 And it looks nice. So, tell me what you think. I think the blue looks pretty on there. Very simple, very easy, but it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. And if you wanted, you could even, if you want to make it stiffer, it's, it's pretty stiff with a poster board. But you could also set this on foam board or in a frame. Whatever makes you happy. So, I think it came out pretty nice. Tell me what you think below. Have any of you tried New Frog? I think they're pretty good. Especially if you want something inexpensive. And they are small. They do have small ones, so if you don't want to do a huge, gigantic one, you might enjoy doing this. Anyway, I hope you're having a blessed day and that you have a happy Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. And take care. Love you guys. Bye.